Mm. Hold on to your shorts because I'm going to say four words that will make your heart flutter. Fried chicken, Alfredo burrito. And when I say flutter, I mean flutter in a good way, like an excitement way, as opposed to flutter in a bad way, like your arteries are clogging, and this might be something that you shouldn't be eating every day of the week. Or ever. But it's gonna be really good. We're all super excited about it. My suggestion is you make it and then you share it. How's that for thinking, right? Let your friend's arteries harden right along with yours. We make fried chicken, then we make Alfredo, then we turn to a burrito. How much easier could it be than that? As you can imagine, fried chicken starts with chicken. And all I have right here is chicken breast. Here, look. Chicken breast that I pounded a little bit flatter because they were very thick guys in buttermilk with some Cholula hot sauce. And this has been sitting uh, almost a couple hours now, okay? It's gonna go from this into the flour that we need to season. And we're gonna season it with the following. Kosher salt and pepper and some extra pepper because I like it. Some garlic powder and smoked paprika. And we'll mix this together so it's combined. And when it is, in goes our chicken. So we take a piece, we let most of the excess drip, 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 and in we go. Push down, flip it over, cover well. Screw it, now I'll go to my hand. You want it beautifully coated. This guy can come out now, go on a baking sheet. And we got one more to go, so we drip, 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 and in. Push down, push down, push down. Give it a flip. And now come in with the bare hand. Max's favorite. And squoosh. Should have hired a hand model to do all this for you. <laughs> By the way, one of the greatest Seinfeld episodes ever. George Costanza becoming a hand model. All of a sudden there's like a young 20 year old hand going into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect smooth skin. All right, let's take this guy over. Might as well just go straight from this into the oil. And with our oil at 350 degrees, we take one of the brush, shake off most of the flour, and put it in. I'm just going to let it go for 30 seconds or so before I put the other one in, because if they brush up against each other, the second they go in, some of the coating might come off, and I don't want that. We'll just make sure this kid's doing OK. Hi, buddy. And follow up with his friend. And in it goes. Beautiful. And now we wait. We're going for a light, light golden brown. Maybe uh, five minutes. We're going to fry these twice for extra crispness. And been uh, four and a half minutes. Wow. Are those gorgeous or what? Boy, this thing's gonna be insane. All right, let's leave them. They're gonna get a second fry, but right now we'll start working on our Alfredo. We'll begin our Alfredo with some butter in the pan. Get it around a bit, get it melting. And while it's doing that, in goes some garlic. One beautiful big clove. Wow. Yum. Break it up, mush it around. And before it starts to brown, in comes some heavy whipping cream. Now, this is a fine dance we're doing between the right amount and too much cream because it's going into a burrito, so it can't be too liquidy, right? Right. Thank you. I know you need that validation. I do. At the same time, let's get our fettuccine going in our pot over here, in like this. Work it so it, it's underneath. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Don't F with me, please. Jesus. And, ow! And while we're over here, let's drop our chicken back down for another frying until golden. B-R-O-W-N. And we're down. Lovely. The chicken we want to get to a beautiful 165 degrees. Meanwhile, a few things we can add to our Alfredo sauce. Salt and pepper, and then a beautiful handful of finely shredded Parmesan cheese to get this thing 
at its Alfredo best. So let this simmer away. Look at that. And here's my, here's how you know when it's getting where you want it. When you can draw a line and it takes a second to fill in. Now it's getting thick and gorgeous. So this is good. I don't really want this to get too much thicker. So I'm gonna just take it off the heat for a second, concentrate on my chicken, which I think is ready, and the noodles. And, wow, we're there and gorgeous. All right, that can just sit to drain a little bit. I'll help it. We're getting ready to put this thing together. And we're there. Pasta's ready. Look how gorgeous the Alfredo is. It's amazing. So bring it up, let the water drip, and in. And on any other day, you would nearly be finished. You would only need to plate this, maybe add a little extra cheese on top, and you'd be fine. But that's not today. Because today, we mean Alfredo business of a whole nother kind. A little bit of carb on carb crime. A lot carb on carb crime. So I've got a little extra cheese here. Just let me drop this on, just to thicken it a bit. Oh, it's pretty good. Look, you don't want it too drippy, and it's holding the sauce in quite nicely, if I do say so myself. Okay, one last thing to add to this, boys, and that's some parsley. Because as I'm thinking it through, I'm thinking, wow, there's a lot of beige here. Beige sauce, beige pasta, mostly beige chicken. Now we're gonna have a little splash of color. Just a little pop of color. It's perfect. Oh my goodness. Oop, lost one. That's where we want it. Right frickin' there. Let's build. Let's start by cutting some beautiful chicken. Shall we? We shall. And look at nice. Oh, do you see this? Oh yeah. Man, oh man. And you hear it. And seriously, man, I need one bite, please. Please give, give me one bite. I got an idea. Stay right there. What if I did this? Just as a little preview of delicious things to come. That. <laughs> That's dumb. Is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. They're all wishing they didn't, hadn't started this video at 1 a.m. Okay, just one more, one small one. Holy ass. All right, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut these guys a little bit more, just so when they put them in, there's lots. All right, tortilla. As we've been doing, we're giving away a copy of Astro. Giving away a copy of my book, Sam the Cooking Guy Recipes, with intentional leftovers every episode day before November 10th, when my book officially comes out. Then you can get your own. You expect me to give everybody a book forever, do you? What do you have to do? Just have to make a comment. Be a subscriber, make a comment. And today's book goes to Cameron who wrote, fun fact, Meatball Wellington loosely translates to fancy hot pocket from English to English. Get it? Meatball Wellington. It's the British English versus this. Cameron, uh, reach out to us, info at thecookingguy.com. Tell us it's you. We'll figure out if it's you and then I'll sign this and send it off to you. All right, as is our custom, on goes our giant burrito tortilla, flour of course. And it's gonna come back on once it's filled. So right now all we're doing is warming it to make it pliable. Gorgeous. Doesn't take long. And when it is, off we go. Who's ready? Because I certainly am freaking ready. I don't think there's any right or wrong here, folks. I think it goes like this. Good? Not enough, no, no. No, there's another stack. I know, I still think that's too little. We want this. Okay, well, you're not. Beastly. Okay, but I know. Okay, but. so what do you guys think? Was that too little or was it too much? No, that's but the there's, they don't know. There's another stack coming. But if I do this, I'm not leaving myself too enough. But that's fine. That's fine. I'll do what you want. Chicken. How's that? 
Is that good? Is that beastly enough? Yes. Oh, good God, man. Well, you want everything. Get the fucking kitchen sink. Max wants it in. All right. Oh, my gosh. Get in. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. You can pull it out. No? How's that? You now straight onto the flat top. On we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? That hit with a thud. Fine. While it's browning a little bit, adding a little crisp, I'm going to grab my scale. All right. So it's off. And let's just do this. Scales at zero ounces and... Good Lord. Almost two pounds. It's two ounces shy of two pounds. Two ounces shy of two pounds. I think we can round up and call it a two pound fried chicken Alfredo burrito. You know what else we could do? Eat the fucking thing because you're standing there taking too many shots of it. So let's take our friend off. Bye. Put this over here. Somebody say, and we cut. And we cut. Okay, I will. Look at. <laughs> you know what that means? It means that. I'm just gonna tell you right now that this is wrong. In every aspect, in every sense of the word, culinarily speaking, morally speaking, physically, look it. So what's this? What's that? Oh, hold on. Oh, look what's coming out of my burrito. Just a little creamy nude. Yum. All right. Is it time? It's time. Let's go. And before I take a bite, just let me say, people ask all the time, does Max and Chance get to eat? Or is it only me that eats? Everybody eats, especially on a day like today when taking this thing down by myself, which I could never do, would probably kill me like that. I'd have my last bite, I'd lay down on the sofa, and I'd be gone. But my first bite, that's going to happen now. Mm. Such a much better idea of frying a chicken. <clears throat> you hear that? You get those little crunchy bits in here. Mm. Should you do this all the time? Nope. Should you do this? Yeah, I think it's a great, fun party trick. That's what it is. It's a party trick. Hey, you guys want to see me turn fettuccine Alfredo into a burrito? Mm. All right. Look, fettuccine Alfredo. Good. Fried chicken, good. Burritos, good. Fried chicken, Alfredo burrito, amazing. Amazing. If you like this, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the, uh, the notification bell. Oh my God, I feel just my body inside going, take another bite. Not too big a bite, but take another bite. So I will. Thanks for hanging out with us. F you, TikTok. F you, TikTok.